Hello and welcome. Welcome to uh, Moodle MOOC 4 and uh, the second day. This is uh, Nellie Deutsch and I'm coming to you from my computer. <laughs> all right, so uh, great to see you all. I don't know if this is your first uh, session or your second. In any case, if you could just add in the chat box where you're from and anything else. The chat box is uh, our means of communicating so feel free to use it. As I always say, you can chat in the class, in a face-to-face -face class, but you can do just about anything. So use the chat box to chat, to share, to learn, to have fun. Okay, but keep in mind that this is being recorded and it's going to be public. Anyone can come into uh, these sessions because they're public. I'm recording this and will upload uh, it to YouTube, but I'm going to leave the attendee list out as well as the chat box. So uh, as far as that goes for YouTube, be completely uh, anonymous. All right, so let's get started with uh, the resources. And if you think you're gonna sit back today and do nothing and I'm gonna do all the work, you're wrong. So this is your chance to uh, get a sense of what it's like to teach online. And we've got sunny, nice Italy, and Argentina, and Ecuador, and Egypt, and anywhere else? Uh, oh, is that Emma must be Missouri. <laughs> I'm Canadian, so uh, we did have to take American history and learn about the states and so on. But... Uh, <laughs> The short forms are confusing. So that is Missouri, am I right? Okay, and we've got uh, New Jersey. Okay, M-O. Uh, and we've got England, Indonesia, Nigeria. Wow, I'm just amazed. You know, imagine uh, being able to uh, get a free ticket to meet somewhere face to face from countries all over, okay, without being transported, but uh, actually to fly to all these places and meet one another. We've got Serbia, and let's see, did I miss any anyone? If I did, please feel free to uh, remind me where you're from. All right, so we're going to start with resources today. Resources are really, really important because that's what we have. We first have the content and then we build things around content. But everyone expects to get information. If you don't provide, I mean, that's how our school systems are structured so that information equals if you get the information, that means that uh, you're happy, okay? Or maybe not. So information is really, really important, even though the way we uh, can access it is quite different. Teachers are no longer the experts. They may be experts in certain fields, but you can get information anywhere, and you don't need your teachers uh, to dish it out to you. So Learners are independent, which is really wonderful when you think about it. All right, so let's uh, start with work. Okay, we're going to have a little review and warm up. So get your fingers ready. Are your fingers ready? Sorry, I was just putting the buds in. Uh, let me know if your fingers are ready. You can't show me. I'm waiting for the day when we can all uh, see one another. And I'm sure it's going to be around the corner so that uh, we don't only have the chat box, but we can also speak using voice. So you got your fingers ready. Okay, so this is what you're going to do, one at a time. Okay, so uh, let's start with number one. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to find the link to the Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ. Okay, so what I want you to do is get the link. Now, even if somebody else got it instead of you, 
and uh, it's not considered cheating online if someone gets it before you, I'd like you to try to find it because it's not about getting the information. It's about <laughs> the process. It's the journey. It's the way <laughs> that we get it. That's really, really important. Now, if it was very easy, that's fine. But if you had some hoops along the way and challenges, it's really important for you to connect with those challenges and see how you can improve the process or the journey. All right, so I'm looking for, oh, Brian. Notice um, what Brian got us. Okay, that's a really long one. That's what you got from your browser window. Brian, see if you can get a short link. And I see Safa has the tutorial. Now notice what's coming out in the chat box. Look at all the links. I'm talking about number one, which is the link to the Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ. And if I didn't add on WizIQ, let me just add it now. Okay, I'm using the whiteboard and the text. Okay, that's what I'm referring to. And I see Hassan also has a very long link that he got from the browser. Okay, so let's take a look and see, but everybody get it. Okay, we've got different answers for one question, a link. Can a link look different? Can we have different answers to a link? Okay, something to think about. How, no, right? So how is it possible? Okay, that's what's wonderful about online. So there are two places where you can get the link. Okay, and I'd like to hear from you where you got the link to the Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ. If you could just add in the chat box where you got it. If you can describe the process of getting it. Where did you go? How did you do it? Step by step. Okay, we're teachers and we want our students to be aware of what's happening to them online so they can appreciate the value of learning online. And there's a lot of value, a lot of benefits. Oh, you saved it. Wow. Okay, look at the different answers. See, the answer should be one, but maybe two or three. But the process is completely individual. Okay, so you've got home. Okay, Safa. Okay, so some of you have a short link, some of you have a long link, because you got it in two different places, depending on your browser. Teresa, no. Nope. It doesn't depend on your browser. Well, it does in a sense. If you go to Google, you'll get the Google. But um, actually, there are three answers. You can get three links. The question is how you got them. Okay, that's what we're trying to see. Oh, Brian. <laughs> okay, that's very, very... You see? Isn't it amazing? Now, if you ask your students, you'll be... You'll learn from them because, you know, often as teachers, we think there's only one answer and there's only one way of getting to the answer. And that's what we tell our students until we ask them. And then we learn that there are multiple ways and they can teach us about how they did it. Okay, so uh, that's why it's so much fun. All right, the course syllabus, Mizbah. So see how many ways? All right. So no way is the best way. Every way is great, as long as you get there, all right? Okay, so we've got the link, and there are different ways. Now, you might want to discuss how other people got it from Facebook, all right? So we've got a browser, but if you go into the course, and let me take you there now, and let's see if any of you did it this way. Okay, so I'm going to screen share. I'll disappear for a second. I think you'll hear my voice, but... You'll see me frozen, so usually I smile before I freeze, but I didn't smile, so I probably look funny, but that's okay. All right, so what I'm doing now, for those who don't know, I'm on a Mac, so I'm approving, there you can see me now, all the Java, so I can, the applet, so I can screen share. Right. I'm going to take away my video here. Uh, to make it easier on the system and I'm going to go to WizIQ and let me get there and the course 
So where is the course? Hmm. Well, you can see me going through all the different... See, I don't have too many things on now. Um, but, okay, let's go through here. I'm going to go to Home. Someone mentioned that, which is very good. So the process that I'm going through, you might see if you did it like this or you did it some other way. And we can share how we do things. And you can have your students share how they do things in the live virtual class or they can document it through videos. Okay, and we'll be talking about virtual uh, videos and how to give someone a demo or a tour. So I'm gonna go into the course. The course is called Moodle. See, I'm going into my courses. Now this is the course page. This is the course feed. And there's the courseware on the left. Now I'm gonna go to the right. And if you notice, there's the link here. I'm gonna copy the link. Okay, copy it, take it, and bring it to class. And that's how I do it. Okay, so uh, that's how I did it. Now, I'd love to learn how you did it. So anyone else do it? Not that it's the best way, but we all should be aware of how others are doing it so we can learn from them and then try it out. Okay, so me too. Somebody else did it like that. Courses, course feed, right side, page, share this. Excellent. Jarek's been there, so he knows. Okay, so no more attention blinks because you know what you're doing, and that's great. You have it in your bookmarks. Okay, so there are a lot of techniques on how to do things online, and um, we can learn, as I said, from one another. Now we're going to go into the course feed. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is go into the course feed. Right now, there's no link for it. I'm suggesting that they get it because I think it's important to have links uh, for every page instead of uh, a lot of uh, unnecessary words. Okay, the course feed. So I'd like you to go into the course feed of Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ and tell me what's there. Now do it. Don't let somebody else do it. Okay, you wouldn't want your students to uh, sit around while somebody else did all the work. You want the process, okay? What's important is not the information, even though that's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for you to be aware of the process and think about what you're doing. Where are you going? Now, you'll need to do this in order to be able to create video tutorials for your students. And for yourself, of course. Okay, so uh, we've got Timmy from Nigeria. First times are difficult. Yes! Isn't it challenging to have some difficulty? As long as it doesn't hurt. And you can't break anything. Course feed. Okay, if you could just add in the chat box, what's in the course feed? Okay, very good, Jerry. What I'd like you to do, and this is for everybody, I'd like you to go to the course feed and write. Okay, you're going to write um, where you are, where you are exactly. Not just country. You're going to start with uh, where you are. Country, city. Uh, room or building, I don't know, building, room, and what kind of chair? Unless you're lying down or something, but what kind of chair or bed are you sitting on? Okay, so room, and where are you sitting? Where are you sitting? Now, if you're sitting on a chair, what kind of chair is it? So describe and be honest. <laughs> Describe it. If it has a name, give it a name. Okay, all that in the course feed. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I'll write the information here so it doesn't move around. Okay, this is the information that I want. Let me add it over here. Make it smaller. Okay, for those who need the information. You can copy it from the chat, by the way. Okay. Um, uh, 
Okay, I'm trying to get the uh, writing a little bit smaller here because it's 65. Okay. I think that's a good size. Oh, it's back to 65. Not a good thing. All right, it came out really big. So I, oops, I got rid of it. I got rid of everything. Uh, so let's get it back. Ah, okay. Um, I'll put it here. Okay, so the information is in the chat. Copy it and take it with you. Now I'm going to, oh, it's still big. I'm going to check and see what you've got there. Okay, so make sure that you have all the information. And if information's missing, remind the person who left something out to um, add the information. Okay, if they left out a piece of information, remind them that they need to get it. Okay, so here's the information. Country, city, building, room, and where you are sitting. Describe it. Okay, I'm going to take away my uh, webcam. Okay, any questions? Montreal, Canada. Good to see you here. Haven't been in Montreal in many, many years. Oh, that's a good question. That's a very good question, Marianne. Yes, start a new discussion. And we've got Mom, India, Bombay. Okay, uh, K. Buele, could you add it in the course feed? Add the information in the course feed. Okay, there it is. Information in the course feed. Not in the chat box. You can copy. There we go. Okay, there's the information. Okay, highlight where you are. Country, city, building, room. And where you're sitting, describe it. The link. Oh, Esther, you just came in. Yeah, the first um, warm-up was to get a link to the Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ. That was the first thing. Once you have that, you'll be able to find the course feed. And then under the course feed, uh, write the information in the highlighted green area. Not here, Anna Marie. In the course feed, not the chat box. Course feed on Wiz IQ. Okay, we've got 43 people. Um, so 40, we should have 43 threads of discussions. Okay, Stephanie, in you can copy it and put it in the course feed. Very good, Tom. Thank you for saying that. Tom, are you checking up on them? Uh, if somebody misses anything, please remind them. Hello, Poonam. I hope you're feeling better today. Very good. If you've done the, the assignment or the task, I like, give us a star. Okay, give yourself a star if you have added all the information over here to the course feed. Okay, the information to the course feed. A star. Give yourself a star because that's what you deserve. Oh, two stars, Percy. Okay. You can give yourself as many stars as you like, but at least one star. All right. So can we continue? Is everybody doing it? All right. I see some of you um, had to leave the classroom in order to do it. White building. Thank you, Timmy. But in the chorus feed. All right. Next. What I want you to do next is I want you to go, if please, to the courseware and find the link to today's class. Okay, so the next um, task here is to go to the courseware 
in the Wiz IQ class. Okay, go to the courseware and add, the, copy in the uh, link to today's class and paste it in the chat box. Okay, so go to the courseware. Excellent. Very good. You're getting good. Ooh, Maria, that's a long one. That's from your browser. Okay, but I'm not sure what browser that is. Wow, Sandy. I wonder if that where that takes me. That's a course. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. That's wrong. The long, it shouldn't be long. If it's long, try it out and see where it takes you. It should have tutorial at the end. Notice that the link has tutorial at the end. Do you see what Safa has? And Camille and Timmy. It should, no, Timmy, you've got the course there, not the tutorial. Notice it says tutorial at the end of the link. Okay, do you see the, um, the words, the text of the link? Exactly. All right. So you should have done that. Those who just came in late, we're doing one to five. Number five, is to bring the link to the PowerPoint presentation. I think some of you got things mixed up, uh, which is fine. You don't have to do it in the order that it comes if you don't want to. Um, okay, so uh, let me get another color here. Yellow, how's that? Okay, the link to today's presentation. If it's a presentation, you should say tutorial. If it's a class, it should say, that's right, it should say MOOC, resources, MOOC, that's right, Tom, okay? Resources, exactly what Tom has. And if you, you can learn a lot by looking at the link to make sure that you have the right link. Okay, remember, it's the process. So uh, if you had to reflect on the process, okay, you could say something. But if you had to document the process, okay, any idea, if you had to document the process of getting the links, okay, how would you do it? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about documenting the way you did it. Now, do you think this can be done? Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you think this can be done, thumbs up. Do you think it's possible to document the way? Okay, wonderful. Okay, so now you're seeing things. Very good. Excellent. All right, so now we're on the same page. Okay, so let's get started with resources because you're going to be um, documenting every step of the information that you get. All right, so others can learn from you, and that's what it's all about. It's about learning together. All right, so um, content and challenges and learning online. If you had to write down, just from what you did, what were some of the challenges that you faced in getting the content and getting information? Because remember, content is information. It's a way to share information online. So what were some of the challenges that you encountered? As you did, okay, let's see. You do all do things too fast for me. Okay, so one challenge, uh, Guadalupe, is not doing it, okay? So did you manage to do one thing at least? You have to be able to do it in order to understand the challenge. Okay, if you, if you do not do it, um, there's no challenge. Okay, you don't face anything. Sources and trust, not being able to find a resource on a course page. Thank you, Lawrence. That's right. Not seeing it. Okay, we talked about um, attention. 
no okay attentional blink that's right attentional blinks okay where we are not responsible for the fact that we cannot see and I'm going to share a link with you that I think you'll find interesting it's completely free you can listen to the study that was done by Richard Davidson and Daniel Goleman yes Daniel Goleman uh, is actually a mindfulness guru he, he uh, reached all his ideas by conducting mindfulness, believe it or not. And the two of them worked on emotions. And of course, attentional blinks. Okay. All right. So you can uh, read that later on. Okay. So what other challenges are there? We don't see adjusting to non-face uh, assistance. Exactly. All of a sudden, you're told to do things, and you can't really think of what you're doing. Okay, so that's very important. Anything else that you encountered right now? I'm not talking about hypothetical challenges. I'm talking about the challenges here. Okay, this was a review, so you needed to have some prior information. It's really important to have prior information. Or if you didn't have it, you wouldn't be able to do this. Okay, you had to either uh, watch the recording or spend a lot of time in the course area on WizIQ to be able to do this. So what challenges did you face as you were doing this? Moving around the browser quick enough was one chance. Thank you, thank you, Nat. I want you to be specific, okay? And that's what um, reflecting is about. Reflecting is be kind, be helpful to yourself, and be specific, okay? So be kind to yourself. Don't be harsh on yourself. Really important in learning to be helpful to yourself. Do everything you can to help yourself, and be specific. Know where you're going. Okay, and don't um, go astray. So Cheryl says, finding the areas of which part of the course feed and courseware. All right, excellent. So there is, again, uh, a lot of uh, information there, and you had to filter, okay? You had to filter through uh, a lot of things. What kind of things did you have to filter through, okay, in order to find it? Okay, and that's what um, Guadalupe was saying. I was signed out many times. Okay, so there are also um, maybe technical challenges. Things don't work the way your mouse doesn't seem, to, you know, the battery, for example. You know, if you're using a battery mouse like I am, the battery just ran out, let's say. Okay, I mean, there could be technical things, uh, electricity uh, the internet stopped working. I mean, there are those technical things, but I'm not talking about that. I'm simply talking about when everything works and it's only you and the task. Okay. All right. So uh, these are things that I want you to be aware of. Okay. As you learn online so that once you understand what happens to a learner, because you're going to be learners, it'll be a lot easier for you to, uh, teach online. All right, so let's get to the resources, information. Okay, these are the resources in a Moodle course. And they come with the Moodle installation. By the way, Moodle is completely free. That's why I have these courses for free. Um, there's the book. How many of you have seen this icon in the course? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you've seen it. Now, when I say course, what am I talking about? What course, Nelly? What is she talking about? What course? It's the Moodle for beginners or the Moodle for non-beginners. These are the two courses on Moodle for teachers, which is uh, Moodle for teachers, very easy, dot org. Okay, Moodle for teachers. Dot org.
Okay, so um, Percy says, oh, Percy, I know you wrote me an email that you weren't able to uh, log in. If you logged in in the past or you create an account using Facebook, you cannot retrieve your password because it's Facebook. Okay, thank you, Jarek, for adding the link to uh, MoodleForTeachers.org. Okay, so you've seen this. You should have seen it if you were in one of these two courses, either uh, Moodle for Teachers uh, for Beginners or for Non-Beginners. Okay, Non-Beginners are actually advanced. Or anyone who has um, had teacher rights on Moodle. Okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll get you in there, Percy. In fact, maybe I'll get you in uh, during the class if we have time. And then I can show other people what they can do if they've started. Okay, so book. What does the book do? If you don't know, I'll show you what you can do. Okay, what happens if you don't know what any of these resources do? Okay, for the advanced ones, you can... Um, oh, Brian, you were in Moodle MOOC 3. Okay, I'm going to go into um, the course. Okay, uh, it's somewhere here. There's the course. Okay, and I'm in as a teacher. I'm going to go in as you so that um, I can see what you see. I see Graham is there. Okay, I'm going to switch my role. Teachers can do this. I'm going to switch to a student. Okay, so you don't see the editing. Only teachers have editing rights. Okay, so here we are. And here is the book. If you go into week one start here, there are a lot of books. Okay, there is a book and there is a book. Okay, this is the Moodle for Teachers for Beginners. If you go into the Moodle for Teachers for non-beginners, okay, let's go into non-beginners. Okay, people who've had editing rights, you'll see that there's no book. Okay, they don't have the book. Okay, they have other things, which you also have. But they don't have the let's start here because they know what a Moodle looks like. All right, so let's take a look. I'm going to show you where the resources are. When you go into the practice area, the Moodle practice area, you'll be able to click on this turn editing on and off. Now it's red, which means that it's on. When it's off, it's green. Okay, so I'm going to go into add an activity or resource. And then if you scroll down, you'll see exactly what you have on the whiteboard. Okay, here's the book. If I want to know what the book is about, I click and then I get an explanation. Okay, here's the explanation. And it tells me exactly what the book is. A book module enables a teacher to create a multi-page resource. Okay, all the explanations here. If I want to know what a file is, I click on File. And you'll be able to do this when you go into the Teacher Practice area, or the Moodle Practice area, where you will be a teacher. But this is only from next week. It explains what the file means. Folder, it explains what the folder is. IMS Content Package explains what it is. Label, here's the explanation on the right. Page, here's the explanation. And then URL, even that has an explanation. Okay, so let me go back now and show you what the... Uh, Moodle practice area looks like. Okay, the Moodle practice area right now, here is the Moodle practice area. That's where everybody will meet. Okay, the Moodle for beginners and the Moodle for non beginners will meet here. Okay, and you'll have a chance to go into the resource area. This is next week. And you'll have a chance to click on edit and practice. Okay, you'll have the add an activity, 
you'll be able to open it up, scroll down, and get the resources. Okay, so you'll have a chance to practice this. If this doesn't make sense right now, I'm just showing it to you. Remember, things don't make sense until we see them more than once. Keep that in mind and be kind to yourself and be helpful. Okay, and don't worry. That's the main thing. Okay. You need to see it a few times. If you're a teacher, you know this. Exposure, ongoing exposure is very important to remembering things. Okay, so these are the resources. There's the book that I just showed you, file, and then there's the folder. It seems clear enough, and it is. Okay, it means exactly what it says. There's a folder. And then there's IMS content package, which is a little, a little bit more complicated. Label is like a heading. There's a page and a URL, which is a link. Okay, I don't have the picture and the sound is not so clear. If the sound is not so clear, uh, let me get rid of my video. Does that help? Okay, is the sound better? If you have problems, technical problems, please contact support or you can contact me. Support, they're really, really helpful. They may ask for your Skype so they can help you, but they will set up your system if necessary so that you can get a nice audio and video, okay? All right. Yes, Teresa, you should have. Okay, now, again, reflecting on the process. You all agreed, or I think everybody agreed, anybody disagree, that it's possible to reflect on the process and document it. Okay? That it's possible. If I miss anything in the chat, please give me a big question mark. Okay, go into, you could make it 20 and just put a big question mark or something to get my attention in case I miss something. Okay, there's a question. That's as big as it gets. Okay, 20 is the highest font. All right, so in week two, now we're still in week one. In week one, you're introducing yourself and you're doing some of the tasks. Cheryl McCoy, I like that. You have to add that to the course feed on WizIQ. All right, that's not your introduction. Okay, let's go back to, um, we're going back to the Moodle course. Okay, here's the Moodle course. And um, I'm gonna go back into the course, okay, back. Okay, and um, I thought I was going back. Oh, here it is. Let's go to the beginners. Okay, I think that's more important right now. Okay, so we've got the menus. Remember the menus? And here is the announcements. You're going to do this step by step. If you notice here, it says your progress. And then there's a question mark. Open up the question mark to see what's there. Okay, there's the question mark. Take a look at it. Okay, remember, we want to read everything. Take a look at it and you'll get the meaning. And then if somebody asks the question, you'll be able to answer them. Really, really important to try to find answers and help someone else. Okay, so announcements are view only, but you get credit for viewing it. Okay, support, only if you need it, you can go in. Now, if you need support on the announcements, let's say I make an announcement, or Tom makes an announcement and you're not sure what it is, you can ask questions about it. Okay, so let's go to week one. That's at any time throughout the course. I clicked on week one, start here, and then I get the books. This is the task. That means your progress, okay? You're going to have to do this. If it doesn't have a tick in it, it means that you didn't do what you had to do and you have to open it up. If you don't open it up, you're not gonna get the tick. And let me show you how it's done. We click on everything that's clickable. Just click away and learn what's there. 
Okay, so I clicked on it and I get all this information, the syllabus. Okay, and then I go to the arrow and I continue. I read this and then I go on and I go through it all until I reach the end. Okay, so you've got all the information here which is important. So you can go from Moodle to WizIQ back and forth. Okay. And that's it. Oh, there's more. Okay. I've okay. Notice there's more. So I have to go to the end. And then that's it. I've reached the end. Okay, now I can exit the book. And it says book, so you know it's a book. And a book is a resource on WizIQ. Okay, once I do that, notice. Did you notice that? Did anybody notice I got the tick? Yay! So if you get the ticks to all the tasks, you will be able to get a badge. Okay, and these badges are really, really exciting. Okay, and I'll show you what they look like in a minute. Okay, and this I've done already, but the same thing. You go into this, and then you follow the arrow. Okay, I'm not going to do it right now, but you can do it on your own. Okay, and Moodle has a tracking system, so it knows the tick doesn't come for doing nothing. Okay, you get ticks for doing the work. Now, if you have a question about the book assignment or book task, go into the support and ask a question. So I'm in the support. How do I start a question? I click on add a new discussion topic. Let me click on it. And then I add to the subject line. Now I want to show you something about the editor. I add my message. I can add an image or a link and then I post a form. Now notice this is one row. Let's make it two rows. I hope you see this. If not, you'll see it in the recording. Now you see three rows, in fact. Let's go back. One, two. Isn't that fun? Okay, now notice what's here. You can introduce yourself. We talked about introduction. You can introduce yourself or ask questions using text. Here's the support form. Or you can use record your voice. By clicking on this, there's the recorder, and then notice what happens here. I can record myself. There, I'm recording myself. You don't believe me? I'll stop. It's uploading. You'll see this later on anyways. I'm going to click on insert, and there's my voice. Wait a minute. That's not the end. I'm going to add my video too. So there's the microphone, and here is a video recording. So let's click on that. I love this because sometimes, you know, we're too tired. <laughs> it's echoing. Okay. Oops. Let me stop it. If it echoes like that, go into settings and remove the echo off. And then you will get. Right. Okay, so I've got two things. You don't believe me, I can also add an image, post a form. Oh, I didn't add the subject. Test. Okay, see, if you don't add things, it won't go. All right, so let's see what I've added. Notice, I go into test. You can see this yourself if you go into the site, of course. And then notice what I have here. There's the audio. Listen. Okay. Oops. There's the audio. Stop. I wonder if you can hear that. If it echoes like that, hear go it. into settings. I don't hear anything. And well, you should be able to hear it. Off. And well, then you will get an echo. Okay, okay that's me. Right. Okay, that was it. Now I can delete this within 30 minutes. If I don't like it, I can delete it. Okay, or I can edit it. And make changes after 30 minutes you can't do anything okay so make sure that you decide what you're going to do with it if you're on the page all right so i'll leave it for you and then i'll get rid of it well you know what maybe i'll just get rid of it okay next notice what happens here 
Where do I go? Okay, I'm lost. I'm on a page and I don't know where to go. So notice this is from right to left. So I'm on a page called test. Okay. And then okay. there's the syllabus. Remember, it's a support form okay. for the syllabus. Right. And then there's start here. This is where I came from. And then this is the course and this is the category. So I'm going to go back to week one. So we go from right to left, and now we're back on the home page of the course. Okay, so this is something you should be paying attention to. I see somebody wrote a support. And uh, what else is here? Okay, so this is getting to know the system. There's also a Moodler lounge where you can have some coffee, tea, and whatever you can afford. Okay, um, and then we go into week one, which is this week. So this week you're going to start here and go into the introduction and that's it okay even though i'm going to be talking about different things you'll do next week okay but nonetheless it'll only open up after you finish all of this okay so you introduce yourself there's a task on how to do it and then okay here are the introductions and here it's not add to a discussion it's add a new topic Okay, and then if you want to respond to someone, and by the way, if you want to get that box ticked off, you have to add a new topic, and you also have to click on somebody's discuss this topic, and then reply to them. If you reply to someone, you will get a tick. Okay, so make sure that, oops, I went too far. Okay, notice I went too far here. I'm going to go back on my browser. Okay, here we are. All right, so notice this is called a breadcrumb. These are all breadcrumbs. And I want to go back into the introduce yourself area. Okay, and if I want to go further into week one introduction. Okay, so there's a lot of information. You've got a whole week to acquaint yourself Okay, with this and get to know okay week one if you want to go to the next part there's an arrow here okay let's see if there are any questions about this so far notice if you have a question about introducing yourself okay you watch the task this is a book or here's a question about Moodle and here is a choice Okay, it's a choice question. You can also read this, which is quite interesting. All right, so let's go back to class. Here we are. And um, any questions? Tom? I thought it's strange that Dr. hasn't checked the chat. No, I can't see the chat when I'm screen sharing. Sorry about that. Uh, that's something that's not possible. Did something happen? Oh, you don't see the chat. Can you hear me, though? I hope you can. Okay, the chat is at the bottom left. Okay, you may need to, you'll see an arrow or just the chat bottom left. If you want, I can screen share and show you where it is. Okay. Um, the classroom is modular, which means that if you notice, there is a minus sign and an arrow. Let me know if you see the arrow says pop out pop in okay so let me do it for you there i popped you see the chat it's right in the middle here it says minimize and here it says pop in so right now it's at the bottom so i'll click on it and then click on the arrow and it'll pop back in just let me know in the chat now if you found it if you can see a minus sign which says minimize under the webcam under the uh, attendee list and just above the chat box do you see it okay let me know oh you can't hear me anymore you're right you can't hear me yes it went down yes um, now you should be able to hear me Yep, my goodness. Yep, the sound, it's still off. Wait, wait a minute, wait, wait. 
Uh, yes, the sound went off. It keeps going down. Okay, let's see. It's, ah, oh, now it's back. Yeah, sometimes see where it is so that you see it. Sorry, you lost sound. Okay, let me show you where that is. If you go into the uh, bar here, you'll see that, okay, there it is. This sometimes drops down to zero. I have no idea why it does it. So uh, you have to bring it back. Okay, now it's working. Sorry about that. Okay, you'll get this in the YouTube video if you lost sound. Okay, the sound is back. Did you get the information about the chat? That it might be down at the bottom? Oh, you lost it for two minutes. Wow. All right, so uh, let me go back then and take you there. I was uh, in the course okay, in the Moodle course, I was right here, and I was showing you about the progress, okay, ticking on the question mark. I also went through the introduce yourself, hope the sound is still there, introduce yourself, how to introduce yourself, which is a read only, and then if you, this is a discussion form, if you click on it, you need to add a new topic and respond to two people under discuss this topic in order to get reply in order to get the tick off I also showed you I don't know if you got this or not that if you reply to someone you can reply by voice in other words okay let me show you that again Oh, it looks like I I lost my role. Uh, you need to go into reply. Okay, and then you can reply through the microphone. Okay, you can record your voice. Okay, record your voice, and I showed that before. Or you can record yourself okay through an audio okay and then save it okay so I showed that I think you saw that but that's it I didn't say anything else okay so I don't think you missed much all right so let's continue with the resources okay now we're up to documenting okay how do we document uh, the process okay so um, is it gone again? Oh my gosh. Oh. Yep, it dropped down again. Yeah, it keeps dropping. Yeah. Well, it keeps dropping. How weird. Yeah, the microphone so, keeps dropping for some reason. Okay. Maybe I should just stay on this page. Yep, it keeps dropped again. I don't know why it's dropping. Oh no, it should be back. Okay, it should be back now. Yeah, it keeps dropping. Did, I, did you see? Um, I was showing you uh, where, where I showed you where it drops. Oh, it dro no, it didn't. You saw that? Okay. All right, so that you should watch that. Okay, make sure that the sound is there. All right, so in week two, you're going to um, work on the resources, and you're also going to get acquainted with Jink, MoveNote, and Screencast-O-Matic, and that's how you're going to create your tutorials so that you can okay you're going to create your audio and video tutorials so you can document the process and again if you're not familiar with these how many are familiar with at least one of them let me make sure that the sound is it still there okay it's still there um, make sure that um, Move note, at least one move note or screen cast o -matic. If you Google it, you shouldn't have any problems finding it. Okay, and Jink. Move note is based on uh, audio and PowerPoint presentations. Screencast o -matic is based on both screen 
audio and video. And Jing is just, uh, well, it could be a short video. Okay, and this is um, MoveNote. It goes with Google Drive, and it's really nice. Okay, let me extend the class a bit since you lost six minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. We'll make it ten. Okay. And this is screencast Semantics Create. They're all free. screencast Semantics is completely free. But you get extra features uh, if you pay uh, something like, I think, $15 or $10 a year or something. I think if you do it for three years, you get it for $10. If you do it for a year, you get it for $15. But you can also have it for free. And then you can download it on YouTube. Because the idea is to share the link. You want to be able to share the link. That's the value of online learning, that we can share links with our students and our students can share the links with us. And everything is on the cloud. There's no need to upload, download, okay? Because it's a, lot, it's a waste when everything can be on the cloud. All right, so I use Jing for everything, even though uh, they have other uh, screen casting. Okay, there's Jing, okay, for the Windows and for the Mac. Okay, now, let's talk about editing rights. Okay, editing rights are really important. Only teachers that the administrator of a Moodle uh, decide that they should have editing rights will get editing rights. And once you have editing rights, you can do everything. You can add resources to your courses, you can add activities, but you cannot add blocks. Okay, and we'll talk about blocks in the final week. Okay, so here is the tab. Notice, okay, there are four tabs here. This is, well, you tell me, where is this? You've seen it before. Anybody? Oh, that's a good one, Jerry. Thank you for sharing. I'm just in love with Jig. I just love that sun on my computer. Uh, is there a question there? Nevis, can you ask the question again? I must have missed it. Repeat question. Ah, the question, the question was, where is this? In what course? Okay, uh, here's a hint. If you look at the information in the box, you should be able to get it. It's Moodle for Teachers, yes, but which course? Moodle for Teachers is just the name of a Moodle website. Anybody? Practice area, that's right, David, thank you. That's right, it's a practice area. And, uh, you know, if you look around, you'll get uh, lots of hints, which is really important for online learning. Here it says back to. Okay, back to means that it's not a Moodle. It's not Moodle for beginners. It's not Moodle for non-beginners. It's something else. And here it says activity practice area, resource practice area. This is the teacher or the Moodle practice area. Uh, for you as a teacher, okay, and this is, you'll have, you're already enrolled, but you don't have teacher rights, okay, now, Moodle for Beginners is only for those who have never had uh, teacher editing rights, this, we did this uh, yesterday, and I showed you that you enroll, you don't need to have a key or anything, and um, these are the tabs for the Moodle for Beginners, okay, and you follow them, that's what I was showing when you missed and Moodle for non-beginners is for anyone who has had teacher rights on a Moodle. And it looks exactly the same. Okay, almost the same. You will be practicing together in the Moodle practice area and in the managers, uh, Moodle for managers area. Okay. And these are the badges. <laughs> okay, these are the badges that you will get. And you will all get badges. Okay, remember. Nevis, that's the that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the blink, the attentional blink. Okay, if we don't see things, they're there, of course they're there, but we don't see them. Uh, which is really important. So you're all going to get badges. Notice for each week, four badges. Um, 
okay, for week one, week two, week three, and week four, and they really look good on our profiles. They will appear on your profile. You'll get a message congratulating you for getting the badges. Yes. All right. I also mentioned the progress, and I think Thomas also mentioned it. If somebody asks a question and um, you want to help them, okay, remember, you want to help everybody and you want to be kind about it, there's a question mark. Every time you see a question mark, it'll have the explanation. So this is your progress, and here's the explanation. So look for the questions, and if somebody asks, see if you can answer them. In addition to getting the badges, you also have a chance to uh, get your certificate. If you reflect on 10 of the uh, 30 of the 20, 34 actually live presentations, and I made it. That's it. No need for overtime except for questions. So if you could add in the chat box some questions, and if you don't ask, find your question and you think about it later on where are you going to add your question you've got a few places by the way where can you add your questions hello sakar yes for the badges are for completing the course whether it's for beginners or non-beginners can you share the link presentation percy the link presentation. Can someone share the link presentation? Uh, Nicholas says, uh, Nicholas, sorry. Yeah, but how do I activate the badges? Oh, are you asking as a teacher or as a student? It's automatic. You'll get the badges because Moodle has a tracking system. You'll get them when you complete the tasks of the week. Whether it's reading, responding, or both. So Hassan, thank you. Hassan, what did Hassan add? Take a look at the link that Hassan added. Is it a tutorial? Is it a course link? Is it a presentation? What did Hassan add? Hello, Andreas. Good to see you. Didn't know you were here. Yes, of course, this is being recorded. Everything is being recorded on WizIQ, but I'm also recording it for YouTube. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember our first task? I don't know. Maybe you came in late. How many people did not do this task? Okay, give me a thumbs down or thumbs up. If you did the task, thumbs up. If you didn't do the task, thumbs down. Thank you, Thomas. Tutorial. That's right. Oh, Mark, you came in. Kirsten's came in late. I see some people came in late. Uh-huh. So we'll have to help you, Camille. Quite a few people didn't manage to do it. Oh, my gosh. Right. Okay, so can we help Eduardo? Yes, you guys must have come late. Can we help them? Okay, what we did at the beginning was a review and warm-up where everyone and Cheryl had to go and uh, do the following. Number one, find the link to the Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ and add it to the chat box. And the next one was the course feed and add this information right where you are, the country, city, building, room, where you are sitting and describe it in the course feed. And then there was the courseware Find the courseware in this Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ and get the link to today's class in the courseware. And then under the courseware, find the link to today's PowerPoint presentation. Now, those of you who didn't do it, do it now. Okay, do it now. One, two, three, four. So you've got one, write the answer. Two, you'll have to do it in the course feed, and then three, you can add to the chat box, and four, uh, no, actually five. Three, four, and five, you can add to the chat box. Really important warm up. Okay, no, you can't do it later. You have to do it now <laughs> because if you do it later, you're gonna get uh, you won't be able, you won't have the chat box. That's the thing. That's what's wonderful about these live online sessions 
that there are things that you can only do now. You can't do it later. If you know what I mean. Okay, Isabel. No, I understand what you mean. I fully understand. Okay, so um, you, of course you can do it later. No doubt. Okay, but we won't see it in the chat box. And what we discussed was the process, the importance of documenting the process. Okay, so you'll hear this, it's being recorded, and you'll be able to uh, get the idea, and then you can do it. All right, so I'd like to thank you, everyone, for uh, making this uh, wonderful session. I apologize for technology, uh, that I lost uh, the audio while I was screen sharing. It went down to zero. And ask questions in the course feed course feed and the link I think Thomas must have added it the link to the course feed if you don't have it I'll get it for you there we go okay in the course feed there we are thank you and, and I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings and if I wasn't kind by not having audio remember be kind to yourself and others be helpful to yourself first and then to others and be specific with yourself and others when you look for information. Thank you. And here's another link uh, that you might want to. I'll add it again for those who came in late. Uh, this is the link to um, the studies on the attentional blink. Okay. By um, And by the way, the two people are did I get that oh, for some reason I can't add it hmm let me try again okay this is the link to uh, training the brain it's called training the brain and it's a study conducted by Richard Davidson and Daniel Goleman I'm sure you've all heard of Daniel Goleman okay uh, there's the link and it's listening it's free listen to it and you'll learn about training your brain and then you'll be able to train your students brains so that we'll all be trained to um, take care of these attentional blinks thank you everybody see you tomorrow for many of you it's the middle of the night with Zaid bye bye <laughs> Remember when you reflect on these sessions, be kind, be helpful, and be specific.